Hello and welcome to Connect to Impact here in Nashville, Tennessee. Joining us now with Satara is Sheila Littleton. Sheila, great to have you. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you. And in the spirit of the conference and, and kicking us off, what are some ways and, and what are your thoughts on how we can have an impact and influence the future of our profession? Well, it's been happening since I landed. It's been a great conference and it's the first one that we've had in person in a long time. So we've had a lot of Zoom meetings and a lot of team meetings, but to have the support of Sotera and the council that was put together and people spent a lot of time and energy to put this together and then to have the excitement of everybody in the room together. And it's a much more intimate uh, experience this time with just the women's event, the symposium and the Black Advisor Symposium. So it's not as intimidating as some of the conferences where there's four or 9,000 people in the room. So you get to know people a lot better. A very welcoming environment. Absolutely. From the time that you land at the desk to the registration and all the people and all our vendor partners, it's been very friendly. There's some people from the home office and they always welcome you. And there's never a frown in the face in the uh, room. There's always smiling faces. So it's been great. Well, you've already uh, partially answered my, my next question, Sheila, but what do you see as the, the value in participating? Why take time out of your, your busy schedule and travel physically here to Nashville? So I run my own practice and it's really difficult to get out of the office because I do my own prospecting, my own paperwork, my own client meetings. So to leave the office, you're giving something up. And for years, I never did that. And when the first time I came to a conference, I couldn't believe the energy I felt in the room and all the valuable information that I learned from all the fellow advisors and also our strategic partners that are very important. So from that moment on, I became committed to making sure that I take the time out of the day to spend this time and block it off. And I am out of the office. I am here 100 percent. And I just think it's really important because we have so much to learn from each other. And especially when it's a women's event like this, it's very rare. There's not a lot of women in the room in the financial industry. So to have us all have that access to each other and our allies, of course, are here as well. But to just have that access, how do you get started in the business? What do you mm -hmm. do you know, about balancing family and career? What do you do about growing your practice? You know, just great ideas at breakfast and at lunch and in our sessions. And it's been very valuable. And not to mention, it's a great city to have it. Nashville, Tennessee is amazing. Oh, it, it certainly is. And pardon the pun here, but I guess you, you did the cost benefit analysis and uh, very, very much worth yes. it to be here. Yes. There's, there is no balance. You, can, you can't put a number on coming to a conference in person and getting to know those other advisors because we do work for a large firm. We have many broker dealers and you don't get to know those people a lot of times. And the first time I did come out and I saw the name badge and I said, I've been talking to you for three years, but I never met you in person. And you just get such a different feel. It's much more authentic. You do. And it, of course, it, it doesn't end here either. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about how Satira has helped you in growing your practice, not just here, but you know, every day of the year. Yeah, so exactly at these conferences are when you get to meet with all of the higher personnel. You know, our CEO is at this event. It's very inspiring. And our presidents of our broker dealers are at this event and you have access to them and you have access to your growth officer, or your regional planning specialist or your home office staff, or your communications department. And you get to ask them questions just like you're an equal. And so I think that's very valuable. And they support us at every opportunity. Where are you in your practice and where do you want to go? And how do we help you get there? And they have training and they have learning modules and they have people that will teach you one to one. And, you know, it's just it's been very impactful to have this diversity and inclusion group because I think it really is bringing people more spirited uh, feeling and I'm part of something bigger and I'm not just changing people's lives financially, but I'm making a difference in the world. And you continue those conversations uh, even after you've, you've gone to the airport. Yes. Um, I always say to people, make sure you not, don't just jot it down, but actually talk about it when you get back and put those things into practice and let everybody know that you were at the symposium and how can we get more people to come to these symposiums and just make it, you know, 
a little bigger and a little bigger and get the word out and, you know, add that diversity and inclusion and also just learn and grow from that at your practice. And you, you get business cards and you get names and you have people to call and to, uh, you know, a resource that you didn't know before. So people are very friendly and open. It's not a competitive environment. Everybody's willing to teach you so that you're not learning at, you know, zero. You're saying, how did you do it? And they you know, don't waste your time doing this, just start at this. And it's very, you know, helpful. And you mentioned modules and training. You know, there are so many different resources out there, but if you had to pick just one, um, is there one resource that's been particularly meaningful for you and your practice? Yeah, I, I personally, I would say it's, you know, my team, which is the IPS and the RPS that we work with, our internal planning specialists and our regional planning specialists, because one's out in the field and one is in the back office. And whenever I have a client experience that I may be out of my scope or whatever, I can always call them, Zoom them, team them, whatever, and they're there for me and they're supportive in that client meeting or that client conversation or that brainstorming session. And then they know the ins and outs of the home office that we don't necessarily have access to. And they, if they don't have the answer, they will get it quite quickly. And they're always very helpful and friendly. And you never hear a question, they never hear a question that you ask that you feel, oh, was that a stupid question? No, they're always saying, no, that was a great question that came up the other day. Let me you know, help you through it. And not just do it for you, but help you to learn for the next time. So that every time you have that conversation, it gets deeper and deeper and you learn more and you're more autonomous. Teaching you how to fish. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Well, finally, Sheila, spending a little bit more time here on diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, and mm -hmm. obviously a huge focus here mm -hmm. in Nashville. What are some ways that DEIB can have a positive impact on particularly this profession? Yeah, I think we do it every month. We have our monthly meetings and we talk about these things and what comes up. And I think it's just, we wanna mirror our clients and we wanna understand their experience and where they are. And we wanna look like them and sound like them and you know understand where they're coming from. So I think the more we bring up the diversity issues and the inclusion issues that we re re reflect back to our clients in that way. And they see that and it, it matters and it, you know, it makes an impact in our growth and that kind of thing. Cause clients will ask me, what, are, what is Satera doing about diversity and inclusion? And I am so happy to tell them we have a council and it's growing and it's getting, you know, word is getting out and it's going to be better and better every year. And like we said, it's brick, one brick at a time and it's starting to look like something. So I'm very excited to be a part of it and I'm really happy to have the resources backing it up at Satera. Well, Sheila, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Have a great day. And thank you to everyone watching. Once again, that was Sheila Littleton with Satera and I'm Jenna Dagenhart with Asset TV.